Hello people, welcome to this week's Ruby on Rails challenge. Today I'll be building a notebook app that lets users um, write notes. Um, users will be able to successfully sign up and create notes. Uh, we have a, a login feature here, so I'm just going to quickly show you what it looks like inside the application. So I log in, there you go. I can write a new note. These are all my notes here. I can edit my notes here. And I can also delete my notes. I can read more if I want to. I have access to my profile I can update my profile information here. For users who are not signed in or signed up, uh, we will show a landing page, which is a simple Jumbotron that you'll quickly be able to create. So let's start working on it. So gets, let's get started. So let's get started working on our note taking app uh, using Rails. And what we're going to do right now is open up the folder in which we're going to build our application and create a new Rails app. The way we do it is, so I'm going to use iTerm, which is a replacement for uh, the terminal. In, in a Mac so I'm just going to open it up again here just to show you so I'm just going to open up item which is right here I'm going to in increase it maximize it bump up the size for you so I'm going to work on my folder is called 15 challenge I'm going to CD I CD into that which is change directory and I'm going to CD into my demos folder and here is where I'm going to create my application. The command to do that is Rails new and the name of the app. I'm going to call it Notebook. Great. Now that the file the folder has been created. Let me just tell you what this does. When you type in this command rails new and the name of your app, rails automatically creates a whole list of files uh, which form the skeleton of your application with just one command. And that's what's so great about rails. As you can see, it installed, it also installed all your gems, which are which are dependencies, um, which are libraries uh, that your application depends on. And so right now what we're going to do is CD into the app itself, so notebook, which resides in the demos folder. Now we're going to open up Rails, uh, the app, in our text editor. Here I use Atom, and I've, I've linked it up with my with my items so that I can automatically open the, the the app in my text editor. You just Google Simlink atom um, item and then you'll find it. So once I do that, so what's done is it's opened up atom for me uh, and what I'm going to do quickly is I'm going to create another con command T to create another tab and I'm going to run my real server on this. So I'm just going to change directory into 15, challenge, demos, and notebook. I'm going to Rails server or Rails S to start your server. Great. Command K to clear the screen. So there we go. We're here. Now, if you just to do a quick sanity check, we're going to check if the app is on so localhost 3000 
and you see here that yeah you're on rails so this is great so just gonna initialize the app uh, git status git add dot and git commit with a message initial commit great now we're ready to roll okay so what we're gonna let's think about the app for a second um it's gonna be a note-taking app um so we are going to start by creating a notes note model and the way you create a note model is by typing rails generate or rails g model the convention is singular with a the first letter is a cap caps letter title the each note we want each note to have a title which is which will take the form of a string and a body which will take the form of text great so every time you you interact with the model the model layer you need to migrate a database and every time you migrate a database you have to restart your server so i'm just going to just shut down my server for now and leave it this way Okay, so what you see is uh, you see a new model that's created because we ran this command, and as you can see in the database, we because we ran the migration Rails DB migrate created a new table called notes with with um, a title and a body column and timestamps that are automatically created every time um, every time we generate a table which is uh, created at and updated at so this is pretty good and when we run the migration um, the schema f file is automatically populated with with uh, with all the information for each table that is created so now that we have the model ready let us create the controller so we generate the controller the naming convention is plural and with the caps n there you go so we generate the controller command k to clear the screen so let's check out a controller here so we have an empty controller and now we have to f add in all the actions uh, and the methods that we have to include in our application. So we know that we need to we need a page to create a new post, we, a new note. We need a, a page uh, with all the notes in your application. We need a, a page with the edit notes where you can edit your notes, and one where you can see your note each note. So we're going to work on the respective actions or methods. So let's start with them. So define. So first, we're going to define our index action. Here we know that the index will needs to needs to reside in our root route. So we're going to. I'm just going to quick search my roots folder, which which exists in my config folder so I'm just going to go into my roots file and I'm going to say resources notes so what's, what this does is what this line resources notes does is it's going to generate a bunch of roots for your uh, for your app in your application so let's just check them out by typing rails roots so as you can see, what it did is it created these all these roots here. What what created these roots? This line here. And so you can see that you you can you you have the new notes, new note. You are, you are able to create a new note. You are able to edit your note, and you are able to show see each note 
and you're able to see all the nodes in the index root so what we're going to do is also set the root route to the nodes controller and index action so ideally obviously i'm just going to restart my server rail says it says nose controller index action is missing a template for the request so i'm just going to create a new html.erb file in my views where i can see the notes so i'm just going to add some text which is called saying is the index page so as you can see the root route is the notes controller index action root route is is the root of your application and just to just to show you again how it works so this is i'm just going to type this in again so you can see a root route is the nose controller index action and you have your new note your new route the route is notes new and the, the path is new underscore note underscore path so ideally it should be notes new so this should be where your new action should be there and so we're going to and we're going to define your new action and we you should know that every time you add a new action you should accompany that with a create action new notes controller new is missing a template so let's create a template now new dot html dot erb and h1 tag let's say new note great so as you can see a new note besides you, every time we create a new note we're going to do it in this uh, at this at this uh, root great so what do we do now so let's do this right so we're going to define an instance variable that's called note that asks the model to f that that tells the model to create a new note here and ev and the the corresponding create action is note.new but what we're going to do now is pass node params which 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 ensure that um, the information that that you pass in when you when you add uh, when you add your title and your body and when you submit the note is passed through this note params and then eventually your note gets created so i'm just going to pass my node params create my method here i'm going to say params.require i have to pass in a top level variable which is my note dot and then i have to permit what is called the title and the body now why am i doing this if if you if you remember when i access my model here so each note contains a title and a body so i want to permit i want to permit every time i enter these i want them to be sent to my database in plain words so this is how i'm talking about these two here right okay so it's not done yet 
what we have to do is you have to say if the note is saved then I want you to redirect to the root path which is the notes controller index action the index path else I want you to render the new form again I'm going to end this if block great now I have the new actions and I have defined um, the new and I have created the new view but there's no form to for, for a user to enter a title for for a note and a, and a, the content the body for the note so at this point what we're going to do is add the title and the body so for that we have to uh, go to Ruby gems and download a gem that's called simple form that makes this makes it easy for you to add forms to your application we're going to add this in the gem file so all your gems you, you're going to you have to add it in your gem file I'm just going to clean this up quickly great on there so here I had simple form and because I'm going to use um, bootstrap here what I'm going to do is take this opportunity to also add my bootstrap SAS gem so I'm going to look for re Ruby gems bootstrap sas there you go bootstrap sas is a sas powered version of bootstrap 3 ready to drop right into your sas powered applications so what i'm going to do is add the gem bootstrap and i'm also going to add the gem jquery rails great so i have two gems here now once I've added the gems in my gem file I need to bundle install bundle install which installs the gem all the gems in my in my application and I have to restart my server so I just tapped typed control C to exit and I'm gonna just keep it this way before I restart it again so command K to clear up the screen so let's start with simple form right so we first we need to run the generator which we can run through this command so rails generate simple form install but because I'm using bootstrap I need to add the bootstrap flag at the end so I'm just going to type in rails generate simple form install with the bootstrap flag okay I'm just going to clear out this and I'd also like to add bootstrap SAS and go through the go through the documentation here so as you can see I've added this line I'm just going to show you where here and I need to I'm supposed to add this also but I know that this already exists in my app here and then next what I, what I need to do is I already ran bundle install so now it says I need to import bootstrap styles to my application.scss file what I have here is if I go into my assets style sheets I have my application.css file so I need to just rename this file to css.scss And I'm going to add my my these two lines here and then once this is done I need to require bootstrap JavaScripts in the application.js file 
I'm just gonna go to my application.js file which resides in the JavaScripts folder. I'm just gonna just gonna quickly add these two under rails dash ujs. Okay, so I think um, we are done with everything that's needed to be done for Bootstrap and with with simple form. So I'm just going to restart my server quickly. Rail says, and ideally, what what should happen is this should change its font. Um, then you know that Bootstrap has been installed. So I'm going to refresh. Great. So you see that Bootstrap is now installed. Uh, one of the hints that you can get is that the font has changed. Now let's get on with creating our forms. So the way you create a form using simple form is you have a loop, a, a not a loop, I'm sorry. You have a form where, that you use and the way you you create the form is if you follow the simple form documentation here it says to start use using simple form you just have to use the helper it provides and it says simple form for user do f username password submit and so we're going to use the same template i'm just going to say instead of user i'm just going to say note because it is for somebody who's going to for a user who's going to enter the title and the body of the note it itself. So I'm just going to say note do f. If you're wondering what this this is, this is this is Ruby code. So um, when you're writing Ruby code, you need to enclose it in in um, this less than percentage and percentage less than so in in these in 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 this uh, you need to enclose it in this um, kind of a kind of a way and if you want it to be shown in the view you need to use an equal to which in this case we want the form to be shown in the view so we're going to use equal to and similarly so I'm going to say for each for each note you're going to do F and I need this is the way you gotta enter the enter the um, title. So we need to have one input for the title. So if you just see how it works, I'm just gonna refresh. There you go. There's your input for the title. So you can enter whatever you want here. And I need to have one for the body. Refresh. There you go. You have your body. And I want to have a submit button. F dot button submit. You see this? It's very similar to the documentation here. So you have f dot input. Instead of username, I have a title. Instead of a password, I have uh, the body. And instead of here, it's pretty much the same. Okay. I'm just gonna give it a class here of button button primary so that it stands out we'll refresh so you see this it's a pretty nice button this is, I'm also going to say button LG which is a larger button there you go it's much better so now let's create our first first let's say note and let's say I'm just going to create go to hipsum.co which is a you can generate text and I'm going to add that here in my body so the note has been created right now which is why you've been we've been redirected to the index page how do we know that there you go so if no dot save redirect to root path but it's not the note is not showing on the index page so how do we tackle that so i'm just going to go to my notes folder index action 
uh, index view sorry and we have to ensure that for every note that we create that there is a certain title here that we can click and then thereafter go into the into each specific note note content so the way we do that is I'm going to create a loop here and I'm going to say first of all what we do is we define a notes instance variable where we say the instance variable asks the the model which is the note model to give all the notes that are that are that have been saved in the database and I want it to order by when it's created at and descending order so if it's the latest articles or the, the latest notes sorry uh, will be on the top refresh so as you can see as you can see this is code that I didn't finish so let's start we're going to say for notes dot each for each of the notes we'll run a loop that says I'm sorry we'll run a loop that says show me the the show me the title of each note so I'm just going to wrap this in h2 tag I'm going to say equal to because I want to show it and I'm going to say note which is the instance of for each of the notes here and note dot title so this should show the note dot title right I'm just going to refresh the index page there you go it shows my note um, and what I'm going to do is also link this to a to the to the new to the new path the new node path we just, we just created because I don't want to type in dash slash notes dash slash new every time so the way you use the way you do that is um, you use a link to tag in, in rails um, which is similar to the ahref tag in HTML and I'm going to say new note right so just to give you an example the ahref mm, the ahref this is where your link will be right let's say uh, http I don't know google.com and here you'll have let's say google now this new note is the text that you will actually see whereas the path itself this will be here will be added here after the new note now what do I mean let's let's see where we need to go to fetch the path itself the place we need to go to fetch the path it's is rails roots where is the path for new node here so we need to go into new say new underscore note and we need to add a path right for the index note if you want to edit uh, a note the path is edit underscore note underscore path if you want to show a note the path is note underscore path if you want to delete a note the prefix is note the path is note underscore path but the verb is delete which you'll see how to handle later on so here you here we have a link to new note new note path now if you refresh our page you see this new note link because of this so this is acting like an ahref tag in html so now when we click this you see that it it opens up uh, the form that we created so let's say i want to have second note this is my second i'm just going to copy this text paste it here i'm going to create a note so now the next step is to see how we can access the note itself 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove the title index page so we're left with just these and I want to link each note um, I want these to be links so that when I click this it, it goes to the respective note now the how do we do this it's similar to this which is like an ahref tag I'm just going to link underscore two and the note I want the note title to be something like this and I want to add the path after it. What is the path? Now, as I told you, the path is note underscore path because the prefix is note. So note underscore path, but each note is different. And when you say something generic like note underscore path, Rails doesn't know which note you're referring to. So to refer to a note, you got to add the note itself, right? The instance of the note. So this should ensure that it links to the path. So you see, here we have um, these these the titles are themselves linked. So if you click the title, it says action show could not be found for notes controller. So let's see what's happening. So it's because you, we, we haven't created an action that can show uh, the notes themselves. So what we're going to do is define a show action. And what we're going to do, we're also going to define a method that's called find note, which, which we're going to use. Um, we're going to use to to find our notes. Um, so what? So just to explain why I'm doing this, I'm going to use this code. So just to show you, how, what do you do to show a note? So first you define a note. Uh, we you in the show uh, action you say a note is. And I want you to find. You ask the the model to find you. Uh, find the params so the way it works here is let's say to be able to better explain to you right you see this here this one in this case two this is this number is what's passed in here right uh, and when you're saying notes find note note at note is equal to note dot find dot params id you're actually referring to this so let me explain much clearer so i'm just going to hop onto my console i'm going to type in note dot connection to connect and i'm going to i'm just going to type in the same thing here to show you okay at note is equal to note dot find and instead of params id i'm going to enter this this number here 2 you see it found it found the second note for me so we need to use the same and what i'm doing here is in fact i'm just trying not to reuse the code itself i'm going to put it in this method here so that i can call the method here when i say before action by saying before action find underscore note and I'm going to say only for show and I'm going to do the same thing for edit update and destroy these actions that I have not created yet but but I'll be using it so I'm just instead of writing for each of these instead of saying define edit in edit define update and define destroy end and instead of putting this in each of these things because even for edit I need to first find the note even for update I need to find the note even for destroy I need to first find the note to destroy it so instead of putting it everywhere I'm just I'm just um, trying to eliminate any repetition and and call it once and use it and define the method once and call it on top i'm saying 
use it for the show method use it for the edit ma ed I'm sorry use it for the show um, um, show action use it for the edit action use it for the update and destroy I'm just going to remove it from here so that there's no repetition great I hope this explains this fine note okay so now it says um, if you refresh it we've, we've defined the show action but uh, we've not um, created a view we need each art uh, each note to be shown we need, we need each note to be shown and so the way we're going to do this is define a view or with the the extension HTML dot ERB which is embedded Ruby and I'm going to say Given it, add, add an h1 tag. I'm gonna say use embedded Ruby again and say because note is defined in um, in the show action. How would you know that? Here we're calling, we're defining the instance variable at note in the find note method, but we're using the find note method on up top and saying before any action is being any action is defined already define this so at note is available instance variable is available in show action edit update and destroy that is how we using at note here and i'm going to say h1 i'm going to say h2 instead of h1 h1 note title if i refresh this there you go you see the the note title in the notes slash two path. I'm just going to define a p tag where I'm going to add the note dot body, which is the body of the note. If I refresh this, I'm going to see the body of each note. So let me just go back and show you this for the first note. You see this? So, so this is by doing this. What we did is ensure that we can see um, what's there in each of the notes. So great. So we are. What what I like to do now is to add um, the ability to either edit uh, or delete a note in each of these notes. So a user can see if he doesn't like something in this in this description in this body. He can he or she can can cancel it and and edit it accordingly. So let's do that now. So I'm just going to create um, some links. I'm just going to say link to uh, back to go back to the root path, and I'm going to link it to the root path. I'm going to say link to um, edit and the path. If you remember is I'm just going to type in real routes. You can see it's edit note, which is the prefix. And so the path is edit underscore note underscore path. But because each note um, to edit each note, you need to have um, what the note you need to have access to each note itself. You need to add at note. And I'm going to link this. I'm going to create a delete action. I'm going to say the, the thing with delete action um, with the delete uh, action is that it's the the prefix is note path but the method which is the verb is the delete verb. so the way you do this is note path you're still referring to each note but you're saying method delete and then you're saying data you're asking uh, sorry data confirm are you sure you know what this does this is every time you click the delete button somewhere here there's a pop-up that appears on screen that says are you sure so let's refresh this. You see this? Now when because of this, this, 
Now, if I click delete tasks, are you sure? Now, as you can see, I've not defined my my delete action, which is in the dist uh, my delete um, uh, the the delete action, which is the destroy action. So, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to define the edit and uh, the destroy actions. So, if I click edit, there's nowhere it goes to because it says the edit template is missing. Right? Now, one thing you need to understand about the edit template in, in Rails is that it works very similarly. It's it's very similar to the, to the new template. The only difference is that there's already um, there's already text inside. Right? So I'm just going to create a new file that says edit.html.erp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use what is called a partial. A partial is a piece of code that can be reused throughout your application. And I'm going to use a form partial. So basically, the way it works is I'm going to create a new file, a new partial file. And I'm, the way partial files are differentiated is by starting their file names with the with an underscore. And we say form.html.erp. And now in the new um, in the new file, I'm going to remove this from here and paste it here. I'm going to render the form here so I can reuse this form um, anywhere I want to later on so this will make uh, life much easier I'm just going to add a link to tag I'm going to say back to the root path so this is the new right so just to show you how it works you see the the new node path is still functioning because I just refactored the code, which is changing the form, but not the function. And what I can do with the edit is do the same thing. So I'm just going to say h1 edit note. I'm just going to render the form again. Because I want it to be in the view, so I'm going to use an equal to render form. I'm going to say link to back root path I'm going to refresh this go back try to edit this okay you see that so I didn't do anything here and Rails was smart enough to understand that I'm, I'm going to edit this note so once I click update note which is automatically generated by created by Rails because it understands that I'm going to update my note. It doesn't work. Why doesn't it work, right? Why isn't it working? Now, that is because if we go in to our controllers and notes controller, you will see that we don't have anything in the update action. In the edit action, we will see that you're defining the find um, note method and the update action there's nothing and one thing you need to understand about rails is that the edit and update methods or actions um, you can use them interchangeably um, mirror the new and create actions and so edit looks very similar to new and create looks very similar to update and so we're going to do the same thing so you what you have to do is right now so in the update action we've already at note that's defined because we've used the before action to define it here define instant we to define the instance variable already so right now you're going to say if at note dot update if i update a note i'm going to update the content in the note which automatically um we, I need to update the node params. So I'm just going to say node params. If uh, I've updated the content, then redirect to node underscore path with respect to node, which is the show page. 
else render edit else just show the edit path so now if I refresh this and now I update the node it shows the show path I'm just going to edit it for you I'm just going to add some exclamation points and update note you see that so my now my note is updated and it brought me back to the show path which is that this year note underscore path but each show path is different for each node so you need to reference it with the at node instance variable so the edit is done and now let's let's handle the delete let's say let me just show you let me click ok what happens nothing's happening because nothing is defined in my delete uh, in my destroy uh, action so I'm going to say because I've already defined my instance variable at note is already defined and I'm going to say at not dot destroy and now redirect to the root path I want you to destroy the node and I want to be redir redirected to the root path I'm just going to refresh this delete okay you see that so deleted it and it's, it redirected me to the to the root path and I'm just going to just re recreate it again with some new text create node you see that so so what we've done is uh, we worked on on these actions which is index new create show edit update and destroy and these are called crud actions which mean create read update and destroy or delete uh, creating is these two actions reading is to basically show um, update is the edit and uh, edit and update actions and destroy is the destroy action so now let's just quickly check um, git status because we haven't committed a code a code in a long time I'm gonna say git add dot git commit m add note uh, model controller and um, respective crud actions and views command k to clear my screen I'm just going to clear this up a bit so we have the basic structure of it um, of it down right um, we can delete we can edit we can create a new node if you want to uh, we can go back I mean it look, doesn't look that good right now so what we're going to do is work on work on the uh, nav bar which is the navigation on top and we're going to start working on creating users um, and associating each user with uh, a note um, and we're going to do this in the next video so see you there